Now that we've finished creating our game screens, let's code to include them in. First, make sure that each of your backdrop costume has a different name. This is called Game for the gameplay. Your title screen should be called Title. And your instruction screen should be called Instructions. Okay, so we're going to use these names to control our code. Now let's move on to the code panel. Let's code for our stage first. We are going to pull out an event screen flag click. So when we click the green flag in our game, first our backdrop will be switched to the title screen. That's the start of the game. Then since our title screen has a button to click on, we're going to add another event. When our title screen or when our stage is clicked, we are going to then switch our backdrop to the instruction screen. And we are going to wait for five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Then our backdrop is going to switch to the game screen. So this is game. All right, now let's apply this to our blob and dot sprites as well. Click on your blob sprite. We're going to modify the code here. Now I'm going to take out the green flag click from the blob sprite and I'm going to take out the other green flag click for the other set of code scripts. Okay, I'm going to delete these two first. Now we're going to add a new event. When the backdrop switches to the game screen, then our blob sprite will show itself. So we're going to go to looks. It will show itself and it will do all these actions and be controlled. For our score variable, it's the same thing. When backdrop switches to the game screen, then we will, under variables, show our variable score and then it will start to activate itself okay and don't forget when the green flag is clicked we need to start by hiding everything so we need to add an additional code script when green flag click our blob will first hide itself and our variable score will hide itself as well okay so at the very start of the game everything will hide when our backdrop switches to the game screen, everything will then show and be activated. Okay, finally, let's do the same for our dot sprite. Click on dot sprite. Okay, for this one, we only need to change one block over here. Okay, so I'm going to delete the green flag from this. I will use this later. So for our dot sprite, new event. When the backdrop switches to the game screen, then our dot sprite will be activated. Okay, and just to make sure that it is hiding, we will show a when green flag click, looks, hide itself, just to be extra safe. Okay, so with that, we have completed the game. Let's test this out. Click on green flag, and click the start button to try. Count down 5 seconds and start moving your block. Oops! There we go, game over. And you have to click the green flag to restart everything. Finish!